On other stories, you've probably noticed that GCB has been a mess over the past few weeks. We actually sent out some reporters in the field to see what this is all about. With GSU continuing to expand, there's going to be a lot more construction work and a lot more maintenance work going around on campus. Just like the GCB building that you see behind me, workers are busy at work and efforts to keep our campus beautiful. Surely you've seen it and heard it. Painters, construction workers, and all that traffic right in the midst of students going to and from classes. Some like it. I think it's great. And some don't. This is the main building and it's, it's a mess. <laughs> I think it's always good when you see a school that is updating and, and trying to evolve with the students, trying to evolve with the life that's going down, going on in downtown Atlanta. I think it's good for uh, a better uh, site, a better scene of the building. But the something. overall goal of GSU's design and construction services is to provide professional design and project management. One building that is very unrecognizable these days is the General Classroom Building. The General Classroom Building on Peachtree Center Avenue has been very congested lately as painters pressure wash and repaint the outside of the building. A sidewalk canopy has been set up for students to walk underneath so that they'll be protected from any falling paint or other objects. Just around the corner on Peachtree Center Avenue and Decatur Street, Anscon and Associates are doing construction. But these guys were not hired by GSU. Anscon and Associates were hired by AT&T and are placing interducts underground while AT&T upgrades their telephone system. They started last Friday and will be working on the street for about a month. The painters will also be repainting GCB for about a month as well. So students really don't seem to mind all the noise that comes along with the construction work and the pressure washing of the GCB building because they know that in the end this will only benefit our campus. Reporting live on Peachtree Center Avenue, Elena Coates, GSTV. I actually have to tell you something that might surprise you. Hey, have you ever been in the coffee shop inside the library, Saxby's? Yeah, they have pretty good coffee and I think they just changed their menu. I mean, yeah, but do you know who owns it? Georgia State? Well, not exactly. I'm going to tell you. Well, no, let me not tell you. Just take a look at this clip. When I first bought the store, it was just a baker case and you can make a few drinks. Uh, when I came in, we put in a to-go sandwich program and that did pretty well, so we thought that we could do much more. So we brought in frozen yogurt, we put in ice cream machines to bring, do frozen yogurt, and then we expanded uh, the line itself. We took down free walls, added deli, added more equipment, and made uh, a full sandwich program with menus. The, the company was willing to work with me a lot. Uh, I don't know why, but they handed it to me and they said, you help us. My family has a few IHOPs and I run those. I help run those. But whenever you have tests and stuff, it's, it's very difficult to... It's not hard to study, it's just hard to focus and get yourself to study. I love to work. Uh, I don't know if it's, if it's just a franchise or not, but franchise allows you to grow faster. I mean, he was here with me. So we're trying to build another store and hopefully take over Atlanta. My plans? Um, to keep building more stores and I really like doing what I'm doing so I just want to build store after store uh, I want to one day have my own brand and develop my own brands uh, we post ads usually on uh, Monster and Craigslist and you can walk in hand us a resume but well, we're usually too busy for that you can talk to manager we hire only beginning of semester we don't hire during middle of semester I had no idea that Saxby's was actually owned by students. You know, this guy really knows how to do business. I know, so you better stop skipping classes. <laughs> but hey, let's check out this week's sports. You ready? Yeah, sure am. All right, so let's see. Let's see what our new team has to report on sports. Hey guys, I'm Jackie Britton with GSTV Sports Beat. This is where you'll find your weekly recap and highlights of all the sports going on here on campus. First, we're going to start off with Panther football. Our Panthers led us to the first victory ever over Shorter College with a final score of 41-7. to The Panthers have played two games since their first victory and lost in a heartbreak against Jacksonville State University. Panthers quarterback Drew Little led the comeback and scored from the one-yard line 
tying the game at 27. The Panthers lost in overtime with a final score of 34 to 27, but in spite of the loss, Coach Curry is confident that they can take these mistakes to the practice field and bring them back and improve the game for next time. All right, now we're going to take a look at volleyball. At their last game, the Lady Panthers completely swept Florida A&M with a final score of 3-0. to zero. The ladies volleyball team is over halfway through their season and on the road quite a bit, so it's very important that you make it to the sports arena to watch them play. Uh, their next home game is October 1st against Delaware at 7 p.m., and we want you guys there. All right, now we're going to see what's going on with soccer. The ladies soccer team led a 1-0 victory over Winthrop this weekend by April Goodwin, scoring the winning goal in the second overtime. This was a very exciting victory that the girls got to bring back to Atlanta. And Coach Dominic states that he is very proud of his team and their perseverance through that game, which was, he says, certainly a battle. Make sure you help keep up the energy. The next home game for the girls is going to be at Panthersville against Drexel on September 24th at 7 p.m. If you don't know how to get to Panthersville, Google it or go to the Georgia State website and it's easy to find, easy to get there. All right, now the men's soccer team is also on a roll with wins. Friday, the guys took on Presbyterian College and their perseverance definitely paid off in the second half with a 2-0 victory. Uh, two long shots were scored by Alex Vivanco and Daryl Evans. The guys have one loss and some key players are out with injuries, but younger players are stepping up. Be sure and tune in next week as we get a little more personal with some of the GSU athletes here. And be sure and enjoy these highlights. watching the Panther Report this week. I'm Joseph Shepard. And I'm Crystal Jordan. And if you happen to miss us this week, you can check us out at gstvonline.org or you can search for us on YouTube, GSTV, The Panther Report. We'll also be airing each day this week at 12.30 and 6 o'clock p.m. And if you're in university housing, you can check us out on GSTV, which is Channel 75. We'll see you next week. See you next week.